Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Morphe Brushes haul. And Morphe is a company that started off doing brushes and they've now expanded their line and do cosmetics as well. And one of the things that Morphe Brushes is most known for are their individual eyeshadows. Morphe Brushes is a super cost efficient company, so everything's primarily very inexpensive, specifically their brushes and their individual eyeshadows. So their individual eyeshadows run for $2 a piece, and then they have a lot of brushes. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. They have brush sets and they have a ton of individual brushes, um, and their price range goes all the way from like a couple dollars up to like $30 now that they've expanded their line. Um, but today I'm gonna be showing you guys eyeshadows that I picked up as well as brushes. I've never used their brushes before so I did pick up a few that I wanted to experiment with. I think it's a great way to kind of expand your collection or to try out new products because they are at a really great price point and I have tried out their individual eyeshadows before which I love. So I do already own a Morphe Brushes eyeshadow palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. You guys have seen me talk about this before in the past. And then they also have their really awesome individual um, palettes that you can fill on your own. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the haul. This is the Morphe M433. This is a little tiny brush. Um, this one is, looks like it's gonna be a good blending brush. Um, I think it's gonna be an awesome crease brush because it's nice and skinny. I always am looking for better crease and blending brushes. You can never have too many of those. This is the M505. Again, it's a really tapered brush. Um, if you wanted a more precise crease or if you just wanna kind of blend it out, this one feels really, really not dense. Like it's very floppy. So I don't know how well that will do on the actual crease, um, but it feels like it's gonna be good. Good blending brush. This is the M139, and this one's a little bit shorter than the other one, so I don't really know um, why this one's shorter. When you shop individually on Morphe's website, it doesn't tell you like the length of the brushes or anything like that, so it's kind of hard to tell, but this one, it, I don't really understand what this brush is, but it's like a blunt, like short, tapered brush, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, um, but yeah. <laughs> This is the M322. This looks like a little bullet brush or kind of like a larger medium sized bullet brush. So probably be really good at like adding colors right here on the edge of the eye um, or adding a highlight on the inner corner. These two brushes are really similar. Um, this one is the M508. It's like a really dense, short shader brush. This will be awesome for underneath the lash line. I'm always looking for like tiny little precise brushes like this. And then the other one is like very similar, but it's even smaller. Um, it's like so small. This is the M213 and it's like the smallest, cutest little thing ever. And I think it's gonna be awesome to just do little tiny things with. And then I don't really know what possessed me to get more angled brushes, but I picked up two. And this first one is the M160-1-116. Um, I think it's like a 1 16th inch or something, M160. It's a long name. Um, but this one looks like it's gonna be really nice, actually. It feels nice and dense. Um, I don't know, I like the size of it. I think it's gonna be good. I think it'll probably be better for liner than it will be for eyebrows, because I feel like it's really skinny, like really thin, but we'll see. And this is the M215. I think I just didn't get a good idea of what this looked like on the website. Um, cause I don't think I'm going to like this at all. It's like a really weird, like material. It feels like really plasticky and really like not soft. I'm so confused what is on like that these bristles are and they're, they're just like a little angle. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could do eyebrows with it, but I guess I could do eyebrows with it, but I feel like I have better brushes than this. So eh, kind of a dud. So that's all the brushes that I got. Um, really inexpensive. I don't know why I got all eye brushes because I really want to try out the face brushes. So maybe if I like these, I will do another order and pick out some face brushes. They just came out with like a luxury line, which look seriously like so much like the Sephora brushes, which I love Sephora brushes. You guys have heard me talk about those before, but they like, I felt like they were kind of expensive for a like non-expensive brand. But I mean, that's what happens when a brand becomes popular and they're trying to expand their line and they're trying to have more like luxurious products. But I feel like the reason why I would order from Morphe is because they're inexpensive brushes. But 
I know Jaclyn Hill uses them a lot. Manny MUA uses them a lot. There's a lot of like good artists out there who are using these. So I'm excited to try them out and they feel really good from what I can tell. There's a couple that I think if they would have had like better descriptions or better pictures on the website, I probably wouldn't have purchased them. But yeah, we will see what I think of these. So this is the little palette that Morphe Brushes offers on their site. They offer a couple of empty palettes, uh, but this one I really, really like. This is actually my second one. I showed you guys in the beginning of the video my other one that I have. The old one just says Morphe in white letters, and the new one says Morphe with a red N, and it says brushes underneath here. Um, but these palettes are amazing. These palettes are amazing. They're magnetic on the bottom, so you can fit 12 shadows in there, and they just like pop right in. And then I love the huge full-size mirror, and there's my camera and another great thing about these palettes is they're super inexpensive and the size of the shadows that go in here are really universal the size of the morphe shadows are the same as makeup geek they're the same as mac they're the same as other sizes of shadows so i had to pick up one of these and my plan actually is i got enough eyeshadows to fill both of these palettes and i want one to be my shimmer palette and one to be my matte palette because i always want like a go-to matte palette especially when i'm doing eyebrows for my clients um I don't like having to like dig through like all my products to find it. So I will be condensing that into these guys. These Morphe eyeshadows are $2 each, but there are a lot of coupons out right now for 10% off. So you can get them for $1.80. And I picked up a bunch of mostly matte shadows. I think I own every matte shadow that Morphe has now at this point. Um, but it's kind of hard to tell on the website what... The color looks like because it just has like a zoomed in picture of the actual like shadow itself you can't really tell like a comparison and there's no swatches and it has a description of what the shadow looks like on the website they have so many different textures and finishes on the eyeshadow so it doesn't go in depth and like explain what each color looks like but without swatches it's really hard to tell so let me know if you guys want to see like an in-depth like swatch video of all my morphe eyeshadows because i could definitely do that Okay, so I'm going to go insert all of my individual shadows into my Morphe palettes and I will show y'all how that works out. both of my palettes um it's trying to blind you right now so this one over here is my matte palette and this one is going to be my shimmers palette um the only issue i've come across with this is that this little hole right here that little slot is like not magnetized so i stick my little shadow in there which i want to be a white shadow and he falls out falls right out of there so this little slot is unfortunately not magnetized correctly like the rest of the palette so i'm not really sure what i'm going to do about this palette i'm either going to have to be really careful with it and make sure it never flips upside down so that this little shadow doesn't come out or i'm going to have to just take it out and have it be blank and sad but other than that everything's great so this is my matte palette. I have a white shade over here and ends off with a black shade over here. I obviously really love warm brown shades. I've got a whole bunch throughout here. Um, and I even popped a matte red in here as well. And this is my shimmers palette. Um, I've got some really light creams in here. I've got a couple of pops of color, but for the most part, um, it's a very neutral, nice shimmery palette. Alright guys, so that's it for my Morphe brushes haul. I hope you enjoyed this little video about the shadows and brushes that I picked up. If you guys have tried out any Morphe brushes products, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions on those products are. I would also love to hear if you guys are interested in seeing any sort of follow-up review video or tutorial video using any of these products. Thank you so much as always for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I always have my social media links down below in the description box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a later video. Mwah. Bye.